In his youth, all Andres Escobar wanted was to represent his country's team, and he achieved that dream becoming a hero in Colombia and one of the best defenders in the world. However, when he scored an own goal in the 1994 World Cup Finals held in the United States, he returned to his country and was murdered. This is the story of Andres Escobar. Andres was like any other child from the working-class neighborhoods, passionate about soccer, running, and games in general. But he stood out and attracted many people's attention in and outside Colombia, thanks to the Escobar surname, which helped him a lot. Pablo Escobar was very popular in Colombia because he built soccer fields and had the best team in the country, Atletico Nacional, but all of this was concealing a lot of illegal activities such as money laundering. Soccer and crime were not different at that time, and this is an important issue in today's story. Now let's go back to Andres, who played for Pablo Escobar's team, Atletico Nacional, then went to Switzerland to play professionally, and later returned to Colombia to represent his country's team. He earned the captain's armband and played with the Colombian national team since he was 20 years old. He helped his country qualify for the 1990 World Cup, despite the dominance of Brazilian and Argentine teams at that time. He was given the title, the immortal number two inches after that achievement. At the age of 27, he qualified for the 1994 World Cup held in the United States. During the qualifiers, Colombia defeated Argentina led by Diego Armando Maradona in both legs, earning compliments from legendary soccer player Pele, who stated that Colombia could win the World Cup that year. Colombian gangs bet heavily on their team's victory. However, the 1994 World Cup did not go well for Colombia. In the opening game, they lost 3-0 to Romania, which was a huge disappointment for Colombian fans and the gangs that had bet on them. The much-anticipated match between Colombia and the United States came, and this match was considered a crucial one. In the 35th minute, Andres scored an own goal, causing his country to lose 2-1. Although Colombia won their last match against Switzerland, it was not enough to qualify for the second round. After returning to Colombia, Andres went public and tried to calm the situation down by writing an article that said, Life doesn't end here. We have to go on. However, his coach warned him not to go out in public due to the circumstances, but he did not take the advice. Two weeks later, he went with his friends to a nightclub and was sitting in his car when two men from Pablo Escobar's followers started arguing with him, ending up killing him with six gunshots. <laughs> Thank you.